Here we will see our line fleet service model. During the engineering phase, the engineer in charge to define maintenance, he have to answer several questions on which equipment I will do maintenance. I will do maintenance preventive or corrective just after the failure. Choices for maintenance strategies have an impact on two major parameters, global cost of the maintenance and level of the fleet availability. We can create a maintenance plan without any idea of consequences, uh, but that will be just guessing. We need some solution able to simulate operational system availability and maintenance cost. So here we see simple life cycle of the single aircraft. It is on mission after the uh, meantime uh, before failure it will uh, switch to the workshop and uh, in workshop it will go to the waiting if there is no resources it will stay in waiting state if there is resources available we will switch to the workshop in the workshop uh, it will stay as long as the repair time is uh, needed and then it will switch back to mission so this is one kind of uh, life cycle. We could have uh, as many life cycles for different aircraft as needed. And this one could be uh, updated to required details. Now we have the model where we see the fleet and we see the basic uh, characteristics of the fleet, like cost of repair in thousands of dollars in our case, profit of mission in thousands of dollars per day also, cost of weight in thousands of dollars per day and cost of resources in a uh, thousand dollars per day even without uh, repairing anything we need to pay for resources and then we have aircraft and uh, aircraft again uh, we have 10 aircraft of the same type we could uh, presume that uh, instead of 10 we are using uh, 10 hundred of the aircraft here in this model then we would multiply everything by 10 and here we see there is uh, uh, by 100 and here we see that uh, we are specifying distribution as a normal for mean time before failure and uh, repair time so the mean is uh, 100 and standard deviation is 50 and uh, the analysis is in days and um, uh, we could also switch to weeks uh, but uh, days are quite optimal because we can then also take the integer numbers for example even we are taking actually the real ones for the repair so the mean is 10 but the standard deviation is free here so we could actually decrease this repair time but then uh, we would not see any bottlenecks uh, pretty much uh, this will uh, uh, switch uh, from repair to the operational quickly and uh, there would be pretty much no bottlenecks even with single resource so now um, we see here the calculations those calculations are pretty much to find the uh, characteristics as the total profit uh, and uh, uh, in total income uh, repair cost weight cost uh, maintenance uh, uh, cost in total and then um, also percentage of the time spent on different uh, states and here we have user interface in this user interface we can uh, track the uh, absolute uh, time spent on the mission uh, on the uh, waiting and repair we can track um, resources utilization and we can track percentage of the time spent uh, and this is like momentum of the percentage spent on different um, uh, different states uh, then we track also total profit in thousands we track uh, uh, repair cost weight cost mission profit uh, resource cost and we can change those uh, inputs uh, by thousands per day we can change specify them and we can specify a number of resources here we can uh, scroll up and down and change the number of resources which we have in uh, our uh, shop to to fix uh, airplanes and then we have uh, total repair expenses total income and total weight expenses and uh, here we see characteristics which we saw previously uh, mtbf uh, number of vehicles and repair time and uh, uh, when we execute this model we have two capabilities we can run this in the uh, app ui and this is uh, app ui which we can customize to to look like a desktop ui and also we can run this web ui in case of web ui we get the web server running so we could uh, give a client or 
um, colleague the web address and he could connect to this uh, simulation and can uh, manipulate the sp previous UI uh, which would lead to the simulation running on uh, our uh, laptop or server. So here we have uh, app UI, so we will run this model and uh, we will see that every time we run this model actually 10 aircrafts are created here so we could actually multiply by 100 and then we would say that a uh, thousand aircraft is created but 10 different uh, aircraft with the same life cycle is created each of those aircraft has different mtbf and repair time based on those normal distributions so we could actually manipulate uh, characteristics and every time we get different kind of uh, MTBF repair time and that could be you know like um, uh, also adjusted so here we see that um, aircrafts are flying and we can track how many of them are in uh, mission here we see that mission total time uh, green one is workshop time and the blue one is uh, wait time and we see that the uh, momentum right now is that uh, we see here we can move uh, here and we see that it's like 75 percent uh, is uh, all not now it's 100 percent of the mission on mission time and now it's 75 percent and 25 percent is uh, wait on workshop time and here is resource utilization so we see that uh, from five resources right now we have uh, in this place we have two used uh, two available and here we have just one available and we can decrease the number right and this those are the time the, the the numbers which can we manipulate repair cost weight cost mission profit resource cost right so we can for example increase resource cost by 10 and see what will happen so we see that actually profit would be negative and we would uh, actually go uh, into negative profit even more if we will set that resource cost is 10 and um, and then this this is uh, still profitable and uh, here we see emission profit per day in thousands of dollars and then weight cost uh, five thousand per day weight cost repair cost ten thousand now we will decrease the resource available and we see that the resources available now it's two now it's three so it's uh, decreased compared to here so total is three we have resources available and that affects affects you see the wait time it jumps to the 50 percent almost this moment right so for sure that will affect also the profit and we could run the simulation for a specific time and here we see the timeline 365 right now here right so and we could track the total profit with different characteristics we could automate those characteristics in advance to, to run those uh, as the configurations that's not the uh, problem at all and here we see all those aircrafts running uh, each of them we has its own uh, its own uh, life cycle now um, we will stop this execution and we will start the same execution with the web ui so i will switch here to the web ui let me close this dialog web ui and i will start execution i see that it's initializing and i got the web address you see there is a web address i could click on this address and I get this web UI into my browser but my colleague could also connect to this uh, in internal network or if I will expose the server through it could connect through the external network and I see the same uh, situation here so total profit in thousands and the model is running I can manipulate the data here so for example I can change to 10 here mission profit I could say okay let's do the 6000 per per day of the running in the mission weight cost okay let's create like 10 weight cost and repair cost okay let's do this 40 so expensive rep uh, and then weight okay let's do that when so let's say that we are for us it's very expensive and you see that the profit is decreasing right so we can come back to 10 the profit grows right and now we can again manipulate and uh, here in this web ui we have different a uh, little bit capabilities we can move mouse uh, and we see the numbers uh, what are the percentage here so 10 percent was 19 percent was here and we can see also numbers here what was the numbers at that moment 
we can export to the download in the PNG, export and edit in the cloud. We have the manipulations of those uh, charts. This is cus completely customizable UI. So as we saw previously, it was modeled in the tool. So we can go here and change this in this diagram. We can uh, move, you see, and change and uh, create new parameters here. I will go back here and then I will decrease resources. So I will decrease resources drastically to two. And we see the demand uh, even is negative because it was bigger demand than resources available. But uh, don't be afraid, this was not satisfied. So didn't got any resources at this moment. We just see the demand of resources at this moment. And uh, we should uh, get the uh, let's increase decrease the resources available to one and it depends you know on how many aircraft we, we uh, was uh, in the maintenance and switching to the repair so if this this is resources zero we could check what is the situation with the aircrafts here we can scroll down and we can see that uh, at this moment there is on mission in maintenance on mission on mission in maintenance so a lot of aircrafts are in the maintenance at this moment and you see that what happens most of them are actually waiting weight increased dramatically right so now 80 percent are waiting zero percent on workshop and 20 percent are on mission and now it's one percent but 11 percent on mission now if we will decrease to one resource so situation drastically changed. Now a lot of it are on work on mission back. So we switched to the workshop. Workshop was uh, done and now switch back to the mission. So pretty much we see that one resource is quite enough with those characteristics which we have. 30 days uh, uh, till failure and uh, 10 days repair time and uh, 10 aircrafts if the number of aircrafts would increase or if the repair time would increase or if the uh, time to fail will uh, increase that will be different picture right but we see here because of the resource weight cost right we increased the repair cost weight cost you see the, this negative profit and now it is getting back to the positive ones positive ones so this was definitely not a good situation to have here and we can leave this execution uh, to run uh, for unlimited time uh, or we could uh, and those numbers could actually get uh, from the real situation uh, if we would connect some api but normally we do simulation without uh, api for the uh, in advanced uh, analysis but for sure could, could query some uh, web services and get information so the, now let's increase the you see that what happens here the profit is goes negative and wait time is nine percent so if we will uh, increase number of resources situation should become better we have a lot of one workshop immediately because they, will, they are not waiting so we are on workshop and we see that there is resources utilization complete 100% resources utilization still not good so we need to go back free free resources and now we have free resources available none of those resources are used Okay, that was uh, aircraft fleet service analysis model uh, sample of the model which could be updated with more complicated situation when we have different uh, failure times based on the what will fail preventive times or or just random based on the situation what would happen based on the distribution 